not a very city pastor. I'm a very rural pastor. That's the calling God gave me. Uh, If I sit in church for three months and I haven't gone for missions, no, 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 no. Uh, it's an error. The Christocentric guys here, yeah. you know. Uh, that's right. Why do you support Kotoko? <laughs> are you a are you a fabulous fan or you are you are fabulous? Oh, Vivi, I shock for you. Oh, yeah. Masters, masters, masters. Mas- I told you the story about Hearts of Folk, 1997. Hearts of Folk versus Raja Casablanca. It's a team uh, from Morocco. Yeah, so they came to their Crasport Stadium. That was the old stadium where they used to have the popular stand. And I think I was about 17, 16, yeah. Young guy, I mean, I went to the stadium. I mean, I went to the stadium to watch Hearts of Folk. They drew, so Hearts couldn't qualify. Fifi, I was so sad. I think Makuma, my heart was beating cook. So I was so sad. And I was left alone at the popular stand. And an old man just came to his car. Kwe. Me no fear your beer. In the old house, in your qualification, Kwe, you forget it. Oh, God, you will buy your boss. Taste, you know, yes. The guy used his hand to hit me from that day. Say, Akuma, he didn't bullet. You know, if you don't understand, guy, we'll meet you tomorrow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. God bless you, Amanda. Yeah.
this, Morris, and I say keep on listening to George, 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 George. 99.7 FM. Man of gospel music. Everybody, this is your friend Travis Green. You're listening to Fifi Folson. What's up, everybody? This is Michael Stamplin. You're listening to Fifi Folson. Hi, this is Darlene Check. Keep listening. It will bless you. Hi, this is Donnie McClurkin. Stay tuned for the best in gospel music and remember your faith in God will access miracles for you. God bless you. What's up to all my family in Ghana? This is your brother, your cousin, your nephew, Kirk Franklin. I want you to know you're checking me out right here. It's all about the kingdom, baby. Fifi Fawcett, let's go. I love this station. That must surely be joy. 99.7 FM. Take the stage, Lord, and have your way. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. And when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified more than it. More than anything we need. 
Father, we worship you. Forever and ever we will worship you.
Oh yes, thank you, Jesus, this morning. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. A good God, we said. He never lies according to Numbers 23. Speak for fun. Make time and read the whole passage. I, um, I love the verse 19 to 20. To you. God is not a man that he should lie, he will do it. or a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? <laughs> ah, what a God we serve. From the foundations of the earth, he's proven it. He has a track record. When he speaks, it happens. And so he's faithful to the end. This morning, I have come to remind you of the kind of God who is on your case. He never fails. All who have trusted in him with all your heart. From the beginning of time, he never failed them. Why would he start with you? Bless God for your life. I trust that you've been inspired already by these great tunes. Very anointed of that. If you ask me, what you hear in the background is Nana Siru. She's been featured by Samuel Bimpong on a beautiful worship medley. And I kind of like the choice of songs. They are reminders for us today. Well, it's a terrific Thursday. I'm excited to be here. It's my 10. I'm on duty. And it feels good to have you on the other side. How are you doing? Let me give shouts to Felicia Safo. Yeah, she started off with that beautiful worshipful medley. Hi, Felicia Safo. Very anointed minstrel. We celebrate the gift of God on your life. And thank you for blessing the world with this ministration. We're on until it's time to hand it over to Rhapsody of Reality. It's morning devotion. We call it Joy Time and Presence. Thanks so much, our partners limited. And I care services. We appreciate your support. And you too for staying woke to be part. We run the show on uh, this format. Great music play. We'll spend some time interceding. We'll get into the word. This morning we are honored to host Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kasim. What initiators of change ministries is coming through to bless us with the word that will propel us to higher heights from God. And so get ready, get ready, get ready. Should you want to interact with me, send me a WhatsApp on 055 1111 997 We're streaming live on Facebook. Of course, thanks for joining us on the frequency modulation 99.7. My name is Fifi Folsom, the crystal centric guy. Directions of His Excellency, the Holy Spirit. Great production from Pastor Kojo and Champon. I guess we are good for a great morning devotion. Please, let's watch him some more. Good morning to Minister Elvis Bentil. Leading joyful and incorporated on this beautiful anointed worship medley. Let it just prepare you. Lift your hands with me. Here I
This morning, be glorified this morning. Ha! Ah. It just was shy of you. And turn from me, I said, I don't pay. We do a sedaka. God has been gracious, I tell you what. Sometimes I take time, you know, sit down and ponder over life. Sometimes I feel I'm disadvantaged. Sometimes I feel the certain things I must have, I don't have. But during such moments, the Holy Spirit always reminds me. You know, he says, hey, you are. <laughs> you are somebody's prayer topic. Well, you are what you have. Sometimes I just sit back and I consider life. I don't know what you've been doing that. Holy Spirit. And a lot of times, you know, because of our expectations, to the place about. perhaps because we have got big dreams, we fail to appreciate God for the seemingly little things that He has done for us. We see them as little. Somebody is crying for them. Somebody is wishing to eat. I mean, you are complaining they are eating kinky. You are somebody who wish they had money even to buy water to drink. Sometimes just be grateful. That's all I've come to tell you right now. Sometimes. In fact, scripture tells us that all the times. First Thessalonians 5.18. In all things. You see, that's one of our shortcomings. We complain a lot. Learn to thank God for everything. Where you are. Remember where he picked you from. A year ago. Some of us. The kind of things we have actually come out from eh? Grace. Ponder for a few moments about the goodness of God concerning your life. Holy Spirit, your nation, where you are. You know, following the news, what's happening in Libya, in Morocco, floods, earthquakes. Wow. People are just dying. Grace for some reason is preserving you. You want to thank God. Just thank Him. Thank Him for your health. Thank Him that He saw you faithful to give you that promotion. People go and they don't return. Oh, chairman. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and cry. Sometimes I'm like that. I think about the goodness of God for my life, my family, and I cry. Who is man that you're so mindful of him? Chairman. Go elsewhere and find out people who have perished in spite of the, the amount of money they have in their accounts. Some they find past you. <laughs> Some the kind of cars that they drive, it would take you 10 years' salary to buy. God for grace and mercy. What you get to enjoy. You went to the hospital, you went back home. Hey, some go to no. As they enter, no, be that too. Thank God. 
Stop the complaint. That's what God wants me to tell you today. It's okay to wish and dream and desire for greater things. But don't let that stop you from thanking God for what you call the seeming little things. Remember where you're coming from. Some years back, that was strength. I mean, let's go to your childhood. Today, look at you. You have choice. But now, when you enter your wardrobe, you say, eh, eh. <laughs> Sometimes, eh, get a driver and drive around town. Don't go far. Go to where they call the slums. Look around and check. What's it? It's in your mind, you woof. Charm man. <laughs> Be grateful. This morning I've come to remind you that God is good. And I'm sure you agree with me. Hey. Phone crow to me fro or so. Hey, who would they tell the brazy? Sometimes we, the ones that we disturb the ears of God, thank Him, thank Him for that which is done for you. Okay, be grateful, Father. This morning, on behalf of all of us who are tuning in, we are sorry, we are sorry for the moments where we are ungrateful we, we are angry with you or at you that you have not given us some promotion you have not opened some doors for us you have not given us visa to travel meanwhile you have sat in plane before <laughs> i hope you, you you get a picture god is good thank you learn to thank him don't complain thank him when you're about to complain may the holy spirit open your eyes to see see else you were born in the city hey. okay you were, you were in a village but you have ended up here there are some people for the rest of their lives they will never see light holy spirit hey. <laughs> They might never sit in the car. To the place of they see Alo play and they wave at it in the sky. You have sat inside before. If you can see some huh? closer to you, you can hear the sound, Bo. Thank you. If you won't do anything this morning, but thank God. Thank you. You went and you came. You even sat in school. You've gone to school. <laughs> Charlie. This morning we have come with a heart of gratitude to say thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. All that you are doing. We are grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for Ghana. Sometimes we complain. And I say, and I say, and I say, and I say, it's okay. But thank God. Hey, you're enjoying peace in Ghana. And elsewhere, it's not like that, though. You can go to church, carry your Bible. Hey, sometimes when they say, uh, what do they call that? Word? Noise pollution. You know, they mind. Your, your church can open the speakers and bash. Are you grateful? <laughs> this morning we say thank you. Holy Spirit, thank you for all that you are doing in our lives. Thank you for our president. Thank you for the vice. Thank you for the parliamentarians. Thank you for even the the peace that you can you can <laughs> Charlie. You can drive in town cool sometimes at night. You know, because of my work, I'm a night rider. Sometimes I'm driving home elsewhere. Hey. <laughs> this morning, that's the word of God for you. Be grateful. 
You want to commit the day into his hands, the Lord, just lead me. Order my steps in your way. Thank him that today your business will go well. The deals you're trusting him for, he will. He will move them in your favor according to his will. We're thanking him for your marriage, for your business, for your children. Lord, thank you for our children that they are not going wayward. They are loving you and they are serving you. Yeah. Thank you for those who have laid down their lives to do missionary works. Lord, preserve them. Order their steps. Deliver them from unreasonable and evil men. In the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are lost. Sometimes one of the things that makes me cry when I hear people have passed is salvation. Like you hear this earthquake, this flood. People are dying in thousands. The biggest question is, hey, where are they spending eternity? When you have life here eh, and you have Christ there, eh, I think the next thing you should worry about is the next soul who does not know Christ. Because nothing can equate salvation. Hey, when somebody comes to Christ, it's more than a thousand billion, zillion, gazillion dollars. Old. Maybe you don't see it this way now that you are in this part of the world, but one day when you die and you go to the other side, and perhaps like the story of the rich man and Lazarus, you're able to now try to see. Hey! Maybe your father on the other side, your mother, your auntie, your sister. Some of you are angry with them, so you don't even care about their, their souls. I beg of you this morning. Pray for them and go and speak the word of God to them. How chisel you will be. I don't know how it is, but sometimes, you know, I wish that when we, we go to heaven, eh, those of us who have, uh, have received Jesus, you know, that when we go there, and then Jesus says, ah, you, these people around you, you didn't let them come to also in the faith. Then they will send you to hell for like one year to go on hard labor. <laughs> and then they bring you back. But you know, tell it nothing. When you hear about eternity, it's forever times a gazillion billion. Give me all the things you want to say with regard to numbers. Eternal life is forever. So desire that people around you will be saved. If that's why you are saved, you are saved for the unsaved. There are people at your workplace. There are people you will meet today. It might be the last time they might actually be living on earth. Maybe their path must cross with you so you tell them about Jesus. Sometimes, you know, that's why we grieve, we quench and we resist the Holy Spirit. Like, oh, I'm shy. You know, I don't know what they're going to say. Master, say it. Jesus loves you. And tell them what Jesus has done for you. You will never know. Praise God. Father, we thank you for the lost souls. It's our heart desire that as you send us out today with boldness, we will speak to them about your saving knowledge. We pray that you bring them home even through your word in the name of Jesus. Are you sick in any part of your body? Trust God for healing. Healing is the bread of the children. Decree. This morning driving ahead, Pastor, could you propose and say, speak to that mountain. Yeah, that problem by faith. Speak to it. And so speak to that health mountain. Whatever it is, declare over your life from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. You are healed. Whatever sickness there is, you flush them out in the name of Jesus. It will not lead you to death. You will live to declare the works of God. Some of us have been saying that, but we don't declare the works of God. We thank God that He's a good God. He said, Oh Lord, deliver me. I will speak the word. When He delivered you, you have not spoken the word. 
cry, he has shown you mercy. Don't take it for granted. Okay. This is a word for somebody this morning. The word of God is coming. Father, we thank you for the widows, the widowers, the marginalized, the disadvantaged in society. We ask that help be sent to them. And let me end by saying this. Be kind. Learn to be kind to people. God's method is man. Yes. God's method is man. God will use you to reach out to a man. And so when you pray in the morning, say, Lord, whoever is in need, help me to be able to supply. And when God touches your heart to give, give. Sometimes it's not just money. Sometimes it's time. Sometimes it's a phone call. Sometimes it's a conversation. You never know. So open up your spirit. Be sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes God will tell you, go and bless that brother. Fetch some cup of rice, some milo. You know, don't, don't. And sometimes the problem, and I've, I've had that problem. You know, people people actually assume that I'm, I'm a rich guy. They hear me on radio, they see me on TV. They think I don't have a needle. But I, you know, somebody had a conversation on a plane. They said, uh, I was doing a project. I came to them. I wanted support. And the person said, he couldn't support me because, you know, he was shy that he was going to give me 1,000 CDs. Hey! You are shy. I needed that money. And, and I'm saying this because sometimes we feel that people who live in posh houses and drive posh cars and those, they, they don't have a need. Sometimes that day, he needs only 100 Ghana to buy fuel. You never know. So when the Spirit of God speaks to you, just obey. Obey. Okay. As long as you are sensitive to the Spirit of God, trust me, you, you will walk in His ways. Praise God. This morning, I just want to believe that the Lord has used this segment to minister to you. The Word of God is coming. I'm not here, but so prepare your hearts. God's servant is here. When I was very young, my mother told me that by reason of my hairstyle, you know, I was having hair grow on my forehead some way, and she used to call me Gaddafi. <laughs> I don't know why, you know. I think that John, this morning, will be calling you live for joy to ask you why you are calling me Gaddafi. <laughs> <laughs> this morning we have a Christocentric Gaddafi in the house. <laughs> and uh, I have no doubt the Lord is going to use him to be a blessing to us. I want you to prepare your hearts quickly as the word of God cometh. Okay. Uh, I know I know that God will use him to be a blessing to, to you today. And so where you are, wherever you are tuned in, let's just connect uh well, man of God, good morning. Good morning. And thank Uncle God for your Fifi. life. <laughs> thank God for your life also. <laughs> so, Reverend Clifford Gaddafi, Gaddafi Kasim. Kasim. Yes, please. Initiators of Change, Change Ministries. ministries. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have our conversation when the preaching is done. But this All morning, right. for the next 20 minutes, oh, whatever okay. the Lord has laid on your heart for his people, All right. please drop it. All right. So God bless all our listeners out there. God bless multimedia, the owners of multimedia. God bless you, Fifi, and God bless your entire team also. God bless my wife, my uh, parents, my siblings, and members of Initiators of Change Ministries, and all those who have been following us. God bless you greatly. Hallelujah. Let's have a word of prayer, and then we get into the word of God. Father, does morning we submit unto you precious holy spirit of god we pray that you will minister jesus unto us and you will draw us to become like jesus grant us grace 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 to stand firm for your kingdom in jesus mighty name and let those listening to us out there be imparted with wisdom that will bring total transformation unto the entire being in jesus mighty name amen this morning we are going to talk about born to win born to win born to win we are in an era where the systems are failing everything is falling apart and people are giving up and it is so important for you and i to know that we're born to win as a result of that we shouldn't allow whatever is happening around to bring us down hallelujah so god bless everybody just get your bible get your pen get your notepad and then you jot down some notes 
and flip your Bible also as I quote some Bible quotations unto you. Hallelujah. Now listen to me very, very, very carefully. Losers are never born in this dimension of existence. Only winners are born into this dimension of existence. This statement I've just projected to you may sound some way to you or because of one crisis after the other, or because of one failure after the other that you have been experiencing. You know, some of you have labeled yourself as failures. But I want to tell you this, you are not a failure no matter the number of times you fail in this dimension of existence. You are a winner. Don't forget I said unto you that losers are never born into this dimension of existence. I'm going to explain myself unto you. Now, according to science, a drop of sperm contains what is known as 100 millions of spermatoses. And these 100 millions of spermatoses are potential human beings of different size, different shape, different color, different height. So when a man and then a woman meet in the area of sex, and then the man releases a sperm into the woman, these hundred millions of uh, uh, spermatoses must swim towards the egg, and then the one that gets to the egg first becomes the human being. You see, in your mother's womb, you run a race and you won over that race or you won that race over 100 millions of your kind. This is why I said losers are never born in this dimension of existence. Only winners are born in this dimension of existence. You know, the reason why many of you feel is because you have not changed the contents as well as the character of your mind. You see, if you don't change the contents as well as the character of your mind, there is no way your destiny can be projected into the realms of glory. Many of you are in the dimension of failure or because your mind took you there. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I want to rephrase this Bible quotation unto you. And this is what I want to rephrase it into. Where the mind goes, the personality follows. So if your mind goes to the realm of failure, your personality will soon be projected into the dimension of failure. If your mind travels to the realm of fornication, your personality will soon be pivoted towards fornication. If your mind travels to the realm of victory, your personality will soon be pivoted towards the direction of victory. I've been saying something, and I want to say it over here. You can never conquer what you have not conquered. Before you can conquer something, you must conquer that thing first. In which realm? In your mind. When you conquer it in your mind first, you can conquer it outwardly. And this was evident in the life of David. According to the word of the Lord, when Goliath came and started making noise, bragging, choose among you, who will come and fight me, Israel? The Bible says everybody was scared in Israel. The reason why nobody could get up to dare Goliath was because they never conquered Goliath in their mind. As a result of that, fear took over their entire being and placed them under the authority of Goliath. David appeared. When David appeared, David saw Goliath. When David saw Goliath, he said, I can bring this one down. I can bring him down. He started making noise about it. News got to King Saul. And according to the word of the Lord, King Saul sent for David. David appeared in the presence of King Saul. And David said unto him, I can bring him down. King Saul said unto David, All right, let me give you my armor to wear. The man wore his armor and said, I cannot use it. You see, in life, use what God has taught you to fight challenges that rises against you. If you try to use what people think to fight against challenges, you are going nowhere. 
That is why it's important to always learn lessons from challenges that rises against you. Even if you are defeated by a challenge, don't let the defeat kill your confidence in the integrity of God. Rather, learn from the challenge, learn from the defeat. Go back to God in prayer. Put yourself in order and rise up again to face the challenge. You'll be able to bring it down. Now, David, in the midst of mess, in the midst of rejection, when he found his personality in the wilderness, taking care of his father's flock, where he had encounters with lions, encounters with uh, bear encounters with serpents. The man did not allow that to kill his confidence in the integrity of God. Rather, he connected his confidence in the integrity of God. God energized him. He brought these things down. When he brought them down, in fact, he created a library of God's goodness in his mind. So when he saw Goliath, he still had that library being connected to his personality. As a result of that, he was able to tell Saul, I was able to bring lions down. I was able to bring bear down. I was able to kill deadly serpents. And the God who saw me through these processes will see me through, will see me through. And the Bible says he picked the challenge up and was able to bring Goliath down. How come David was able to bring Goliath down? He killed Goliath first before killing Goliath second. The first killing of Goliath was in his mind. The second killing of Goliath was the physical killing. You see, you can't conquer what you have not conquered yet. That is why it is important for you to fill your mind with the word of God. To fill your mind with positive stuff. If you don't fill your mind with the word of God, if you don't fill your mind with positive stuff, it will be difficult for your destiny to be, be projected into the realm of victory. Look at Caleb and Joshua. According to the word of the Lord, God said unto Moses that he has prepared a realm of existence for them. That realm was Canaan, full of milk, full of honey, full of glory, full of beauty. And they got to that realm only to find giants in that realm. Fear grave, ten of the spies, except Caleb and then Joshua. The Bible said Caleb and Joshua said, As the Lord liveth, and as the Lord has said he has given us the land, he will surely give it unto us. These giants we are seeing, they are bread unto us. Listen, the way you see life is also important. And your attitude towards life is also important. Your attitude towards life is also important. Hallelujah. And I want you to see yourself bigger than your present state. It doesn't matter the number of failures you feel in life. It doesn't matter the opinions of people concerning your life. What I want you to do is don't allow the opinions of people to uh, control your destiny. You know, most of you, your life is being controlled by the opinions of people. By the opinions of people. They look at you and go like good for nothing person. They look at you and tell you nothing good can come out of you. I'm here to tell you, you are precious. And within you lies greater things that the world is waiting to experience in order to become glorious. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus forevermore. And I pray for anyone hearing the sound of my voice that the Lord grant you grace to be able to come alive to the reality that you are beyond what people think about you. You are beyond the limitations you have placed upon your personality in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus forevermore. Those of you watching us live, please do well to share the link for me. Share the link on all your social media handles so that others can join in and be blessed greatly. Hallelujah. Now listen to me very carefully. When men look at you, they only see what their two physical eyes present unto them. They cannot see beyond what lies in you. They only see what their two physical eyes can see. Now, let me explain this unto you. 
Imagine I walk to you and then I pull out of my pocket a seed and I ask you what is in my hands. What would be your answer? Majority of you will answer seed. But the truth of the matter is it is not a seed. It is a forest. When you look at the seed in my hands critically with the proper lenses, you realize that embedded in that seed is a potential tree. And embedded in that potential tree are potential fruits and seeds in them. And embedded in these potential seas are also potential trees and other seas. And the cycle goes on. You see, when men look at you, all they see is your limitation. All they see is your disabilities. They cannot see beyond what lies in your disabilities and in your limitation. So they will define you by what their two physical eyes see. Listen. You are bigger than what people think about you. Look at it. When God looked at Adam, God saw the world. When God looked at Abraham, God saw nation. When God looked at Jacob, the deceiver, God saw the Messiah. You are bigger than what people think about you. Renew the contents. Renew the character of your mind. When you do this, your life will be projected into glory. Tell yourself you are born to change the course of this world. You are born to change the story of your household. Look at yourself constantly in the mirror. You know, most of you use the mirror just to polish your face. But the mirror can be used better than you uh, polishing your face. The mirror can be used to change your destiny. How? You look at yourself in the mirror. You speak to yourself. Boy, oh boy, you are bigger than your world. Boy, oh boy, glory has taken over your entire being. Boy, oh boy, things are falling in place for you. You are rising beyond limitation. Hallelujah. So what I want you to do is change the contents as well as the character of your mind. And I want to tell you this. In every darkness, there is light. In every mess, there is a message or a miracle. In every test, there is a testimony. Anytime challenges rises up against you, don't allow the challenges to subject your destiny onto bondage. Rise up by connecting your personality onto the integrity of of God. That is how I defend faith. Faith is having confidence in the integrity of God. God cannot lie. So I have confidence in his integrity. God cannot turn me down. So I have confidence in his integrity. God says he is with me when I go through the waters, when I go through the valley, when I go through fire, he is with me. So I hold strong unto his word. That is how I personally defined faith. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus forevermore. Praise Jesus forevermore. And I pray for you today that God will bring a great awakening unto you. The strength of God will become your strength. The light of God will shine upon your destiny. Power will take over your entire being. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for that man, that woman that is giving up, that God bring newness of strength into your entire being. In the name of Jesus. So you are not a loser. You are born into this world to succeed. You are born into this world to change the course of this world. My advice to you, get up from your mess and move on. Get up from your mess and move on. Now, I was preaching a message and I said something, which is, challenges are the, are the shadows of glory. They are the shadows of blessing. They are the shadows of miracle. So when you see a challenge in your domain of existence, it means glory is knocking at your door. Testimony is knocking at your door. You see, when you see my shadow, it means I am about to manifest. And shadows are not full of light. They are darkness. They are darkness. So 
challenges that rises against you is a sign that a miracle, glory, progress is about to happen to you. Stay focused and stay still. Calm down and, and, and have confidence in the integrity of God and your life will never be the same again. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. What a word. Very uplifting this morning. Well, hey, change the content and character of your mind. Wow. And I like that I wrote here that uh, where the mind uh, goes, the personality follows. You can never conquer what you have not conquered. First, conquer in your mind. Very uplifting, man of God. Thank you very much, Reverend Clifford uh, Gaddafi Kasim of Initiators of Change Ministries. I appreciate you for being a blessing to all of us here this morning on Joy. Wow. I'll do a quick break on my return. We'll have an interaction. You can reach us via WhatsApp at 055 1111 055 You heard the word. Change the content and character of your mind. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. I'm sure you know what's there. Well, if you don't check it quickly, I'm back after the break. Yeah, yeah. Neokai Ministries in partnership with TFHO and ICGC Zoe Temple present the Mukube A20 Celebration Concert with Neokai and Vetsu Music featuring our Joe Metal, Koda, Eugene Zuta, MLG, Kofi Karakari, Na Messi, David Osabote, Lordina the Soprano, and many more. Venue is ICGC Zoe Temple, Community 5 Tema, date Sunday, September 17, 2023. Gates open at 4.30 p.m. Admission regular, 70 Ghana cities, double 120 Ghana cities, 200 Ghana cities for special VIP hard save tickets online access 25 ghana cities or five dollars tickets hotline 0246-156-915 sponsors are it consortium ugmc and partners hebsburg christian center axel properties sweet music the i church kq photography latfa multimedia insignia hub for him april lmk rose designs media partners are adam tv joy fm adam fm and joy prime
winners After such a word, you need the kind of music to remind you of your identity. You are not a failure. Even know how you had to hit that egg in your mother's womb and come here. You will never attribute failure to who you are. Whatever God creates is good. And so walk with this mindset. Charlie. I like the analogy of looking your face in the mirror. It's not only to check your eyebrow or makeup or check your hairstyle. It's to tell that image, that God's creation in that mirror. That Charlie, you know what? You might have fallen, but guess what? You are still a winner. While I was going after something I learned, that changed my perspective about winners. He said, winners are former failures. <laughs> you failed before, you failed before, but you told yourself, Charlie, enough is enough. I'm going to move. I was in my children's school over the weekend. It was, uh, you know, graduation. And there's a category that says most improved student. And I was smiling. Some students used to be way at the back, but now they are competing for the front. That's the winner's mindset. This morning, a big thank you to Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kasim for blessing us with such a great word. I'll read a couple of messages and then I can chit chat with you. Uh, this one now uh, from Nanayao Inkum uh, Ajiman says, Charlie, we are blessed to have you, Daddy. God bless you. Amwa Irene says, challenges are a shadow of glory. Very deep indeed. Uh, there's one here that says, uh, powerful and very inspirational. Bless you, Patricia uh, Sumaka. Yes, thank God. Isaac, I see you. Isaac, I see you, Karima. Sure, this is family. He says, Thank you, Rev. Uh, you are blessed. I'm a winner in all my life. Well, courage, Koshi, Ameibo. God bless you. Abba, your boy, about the Crenshaw. You're also here. Thank God. I see all of you and appreciate you for staying connected. It's joy time in his presence. 99.7. And that was D. Jones uh, and the squad with the winner's anthem. I love it. You know, I've always been designed to play this song. I think today I feel led to do it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so keep those messages coming in. I've got uh, limited time here. This one from Dede says, also very brief, educated peace, God richly bless you. Hey, Galeka, what is his aim and God bless you, Pastor. I think earlier, uh, <laughs> Charlie, let me say good morning to Frimpo and Brokwa in Akim, is it Akim Wenchi? Charlie, this is your request here this morning, yeah. <laughs> Wants to hear some high life song like that. Shower. Yeah. <laughs> Auntie Cassie, good morning. Say, good morning, Vivi. Thank you for reminding me of the goodness of God. I remember years back when I was married, I used to count coins. Hey! Today, God has blessed me so much that I can also give real money to others. Indeed. God bless you. And God bless your generous heart. Atta. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see some better dedication. This one says, Brother Fifi, you sound like a disciple. Please, a brother in prayer and wish for my nephew, Joe Tham, Ajimai of Accra Ridge Church School, Farm 2. May you grow to know, uh, love, and serve God. From Uncle Martin O'Day, happy birthday to you. I'm winning in the morning. Hello, Christa Sentry guy. Good morning. I believe I'm a winner. Mausam and uh, uh, a, win a winner, right? Sedinam, okay, he's also a winner. Uh, all glory to God. Thank God for your life, sister. Well, I, all we need is God's hand to push us from the pit. Well, he's already lifted you from the miry clay. Uncle Sonny, good morning. Blessed birthday celebration to Dennis Niso of the CACI La English Service. And what's your name? Come on. Good 
Good morning, Fifi. Well, uh, it's a beautiful day, and I'm grateful to God. Thank you, Uncle. Very deep. I'm a winner. Mante no Dumas says, God bless your generous heart. Hey, Mante. I see you. General Sting cries here. Yeah. Super awesome. Happy birthday to Justice uh, Osgood up here, a.k.a. AJ Osgood, an associate member and resident uh, bass guitarist of Ruberman Productions. God bless you. Love you bigly. My international queer who boy, Justin Cry. Okay. For your eye care challenges, look no further as a Marshall Partners and Eye Care Limited. You know it. Your eye deserves the best care and quality designer eyeglasses. Here's a Marsha Partners in eye care. They undertake the following services. Supply of designer frames, side testing, supply of lenses and glasses, contact lenses, ophthalmologists in attendance and general treatment. Locate us at La Obese Trade Fair, Springs adjacent ICGC, before Community 18 Junction, McCarthy Hill, Obese Bench Lodge, North Kanehi Swan Lake, Obese Green Hand Junction, Achimoto Second Floor, Dainswell Plaza, Chakradi Axim Road, Opposite CBG Bank, Ho Opposite House and Junction, Kumasi Airport Runabout, Kolebu Opposite EZG and Kofrodia Central Hospital Road, Tamil Community One Meridian Plaza. Give them a call on 0302 939850, 0302 939850, or 0302 778827. Follow on Facebook, on the Twitter, or on X and Instagram. Mommy Oday, and did you have to good morning to you? She's the chief uh, servant at Chicane's Cosmetics Spa and Bridal. You know business, right? Good to know you're a tuner this morning. God bless you. Right, so Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kasim is right here. Man of God, again, thank you for being a blessing to us. Ah, Thanks what a word Jesus. this morning. I am propelled, you know, to, to, to make up my mind never to lose. All the battles I've lost, I'm going back to pick them up and That's then awesome. win. So wh- what's up with ministry? Uh, is there anything happening we should uh, be a part of? <laughs> yes, please. On okay. the 21st of September, we are going to have uh, our annual conference we've been having every year. Mm. Uh, it is Panel Conference. Okay. Yes, please. Penel Conference. Yes, please. And why is this? Why is the church, though? The church is at uh, Abavana. Okay. Yes, please. Close to the Mamobi Polyclinic. Mm. It's in uh, a catering school. We are on top of it. On top uh, of it, right? Yeah. Yes, Everything please. about you is on top. You are winners, yeah? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So what, is this? What, what, what time is it starting, please? It's starting at 8.30 to 11, uh, 1.30 p.m. Okay. Yeah, it's full of the word, full of prayer, and then impartation service. Mm. I see. Mm. How do we connect you? Are you on social media? Do you have a number you want to put out for those who might want to yes, reach please. out to you? I we have a number you can reach out to is zero two four five four one two one zero one. I'm picking the number up again. Zero two four five four one two one zero one. And you can reach me on Facebook by searching for Ref Clifford Gaddafi Kasim. Mm-hmm. Ref Clifford Gaddafi Kasim. The same name is used for my YouTube handle. Ref Clifford Gaddafi Kasim. You okay. can reach me up. Rev Clifford yes, Gaddafi please. Kasim. Yes, please. Uh, he's a leader and initiator of Change Ministries. Yes, I'm sure with time I'll find uh, you know you over and then we can talk about ministry proper proper. I'll really be so yeah, happy. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. God bless you for being a blessing. God bless you all. Wish you all the best and uh, all the best also for the panel conference as well. Thank you. We pray that uh, the will of God be done. Mm. On behalf of all lives that you know have been blessed, we thank you this morning and and uh, thank you again. Amen. All thank right. you too. God yes, bless you. Uh, God bless you as well. Okay, so. Everything I touch, I trust the
He's one of the finest, prolific songwriters of our dispensation. We celebrate you for all these great songs. They are still a blessing to the body of Christ. Reach out to him, call him, encourage him, pray for him, and bless him. Kwesi, we love you. And so this I win from us. How many years ago? Let's drop these birthday shouts. Well, your parents, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Arthur, your siblings wish to congratulate you, Isaac uh, Sabing Arthur, on this day. It's a happy birthday to you. The entire family wish you long life, good health, God's grace and satisfaction of your heart desire. Enjoy the day. Congratulations, uh, Mrs. Patricia Edusei, alias Sister Ifia Kwachiwa of ECG Kumasi Main. Oh, for Ikrum, as you celebrate your birthday today, may God grant you grace, good health, and fortitude. We'll forever remember you. Who shared this? Hey, sir. So, Evan Sabute here says, Happy birthday to Courtney Wikain Raimi of uh, Accra Grammar School, UV from Manyateko, a.k.a. Authentic Mama. <laughs> Tell it is your name, man. Courtney Wikane Raimi of Accra Grammar School, OUV. Your name sells the sound like good grammar. <laughs> okay. So I guess that's basically it. Tomorrow I'm here with live worship. I'm honored to be hosting Seth Diamond. I think his voice sounds like uh, Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you are plugged in so together we can have a good time. Good morning to all of you who okay, who came through to say good morning. Wow, good morning, Fifi. I'm happy this morning. Alpha Prosper from Adidome. My name is Fifi. If he falls in the Christocentric guy, thank you, uh, Pastor Kuju and Champa for producing. May God's grace see all of us through every lives raised with an extra pace no enemy can chase. Rhapsody of reality takes over and then the Super Morning Show will hit you like his heart. <laughs> Just fine with Fifi Folsen here on Joy 99.7 FM. Rhapsody of reality. Welcome to today's Rhapsody reading, Thursday 14th. Pastor says your legal authority to use his name. 
Mark 16, 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. In the days of Jesus, exorcism wasn't a new thing as the Jews knew that demons were responsible for some afflictions. Jesus referred to it in some portions of the Gospels. So it was already in existence in his day. For example, in Matthew 12, 27, Jesus asked, If I, by Beelzebub, cast out demons, by whom do your children cast them out? Therefore, they shall be your judges. But the people noticed something unique about the way Jesus ministered and cast out demons. He only spoke words and the demons were cast out. He exercised authority that others marveled at. No wonder they wanted to know who he was and why he was so different. Luke 4, 36 says, And they were all amazed and spake among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. Today he has given us the power of attorney to use his name, the legal authority to act in his stead. Thus you can cast out devils using the name of Jesus. The Bible says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Mark 16, 17. Notice the three-word phrase, in my name. It means you can use the name of Jesus and be heard. So when he says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. It means that in dealing with Satan and his demons, no need for fruitless arguments. Cast them out. In his name, you can frustrate the influence and manipulations of Satan in your family, workplace, city, and country. No demon can resist or stand against the name of Jesus. Philippians 2, 9-11 says, Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Repeat this confession. I exercise authority over all devils as I have been given the authority in the name of Jesus. My faith is a weapon of defense and an instrument of victory over and against the adversary and adversities. With it, I put out all the fiery missiles of the wicked one. The word of God has taken full possession of my spirit, soul, and body. I'm eternally triumphant in Christ because my faith is the victory that overcomes the world. Hallelujah. For further study, read Philippians 2, 9 to 11 and Luke 10, 17 to 19. If you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, please repeat this after me. Oh, Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Today's broadcast was brought to you by Christ Embassy. If you were blessed by this broadcast, please contact 244 211 623 244-211-623 or 027-914-3895. 027-914-3895. God bless you.